We're here at the Goddard Space Flight Center in the integration and testing area. Now you see these small things behind me. These are smaller versions of the space environment simulator. And inside is the beating heart of the James Webb Space Telescope. It's the integrated science instrument module, otherwise known as ISOM. In just a few years, the James Webb Space Telescope will fundamentally change our understanding of the universe. With a massive 18-section mirror measuring 6.5 meters in diameter, the James Webb will allow our species to gaze through time to the formation of some of the first stars and galaxies. That's pretty cool stuff, right? But how does it work? It all depends on what's often called the heart of the James Webb, the ISIM. The ISIM houses all the light detecting instruments on the satellite. This includes an array of instruments such as a specialized infrared camera, spectrographs, and more. We spoke with instrument systems engineer Begonia Vila to get the scoop on what these instruments sense and what sort of science we expect to conduct once the James Webb is in orbit. So we have four main instruments which are the ones that are going to be taking the science in space and when those instruments are put together we call that the ISIM. So the instruments, each of them has a special capability, so they complement each other very well. We have one of them called NearCam. Uh, it's a camera. It will take images of different parts of the sky. Uh, we have another one called NearSpec, which will take a spectra. I think everybody knows you can put a slit to take a spectra. NearSpec has the capability of doing up to 100 at one time, so you can take lots of spectra in one part of the sky together. Then uh, we have MIRI, which is the only one that will go to the far infrared. The other three instruments operate between 0.6 to 5 microns in the infrared. MIRI is able to go to 25, and that MIRI is also special because they cool it down even further. They go to 6 Kelvin with a special cooler to be able to extend to that range. And then the fourth instrument, it has to come Components. One of them is called NIRIS and it can take um, images and also spectra. And the other one is the fine guidance sensor. So the fine guidance sensor is one of the critical components of the telescope because it allows you to find a star in the sky, wherever the other instruments want to observe, and it's the one that will help to keep the pointing of the telescope really steady so all the other instruments can do the science. And there's an important point here. We're talking about shooting some tremendously sensitive instruments into space, so we need to be sure they can withstand the rigors of the journey. This includes stuff like the intense vibration of launch and the immense heat of the sun. So before ISIM ever leaves the ground, scientists put it through a battery of extensive tests to simulate the conditions of space. Temperature testing is one of the most crucial aspects of this program. Since these instruments detect heat, they need to be as cold as possible. Possible, but they still need to work while in these incredibly cold conditions. This is where the sun shield and temperature testing come in. We spoke with aerospace engineer detailee Jody Davis to get more information about the testing process. So there are four main instruments um, and they have uh, near infrared and mid infrared um, capabilities and those instruments love to be nice and cold. So we're talking 40 Kelvin, which is minus 387 degrees Fahrenheit. And then one, the mid-infrared instrument, loves to be at a balmy 7K, minus 447 degrees Fahrenheit. So because these instruments are so close to absolute zero, they need to remain cold. And electronics, for instance, love room temperature. So we need to dissipate all of that heat before we get to the science instruments. Um, so we have what's called a harness radiator. So uh, all of that we test here at Goddard and we go through a very large, uh, extensive test sequence as we build up ISOM and then the rest of the telescope. So right now, actually, we're standing in front of a, a, a cryogenic vacuum chamber and that is uh, that actually has ISOM in there right now and it is testing and verifying that all of the science instruments and the other functions of the other components are working well at those very, very low, low temperatures. Just earlier this year, we went through a successful vibration test, and it also goes through an acoustic test. Basically, an environment that we see during launch, as we launch on uh, an Ariane 5. So that vibration testing was successful, that's complete, and so we're, we're getting very close. So there you have it, ISOM, the Integrated Science Instrument Module. From STEM 
to Stern. This thing's gonna fly a million miles into space. And if you'd like to learn more about what it finds, then stay tuned and check us out at now.howstuffworks.com.